Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be talking about 5G technology, its advantages and disadvantages. So please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon for more knowledge videos. And I will be needing support from you guys to bring such kind of motivational videos. So without wasting much of time, let's get into it. So the first question is what is 5G network? Uh, well, 5G is upgraded version of cellular technology or we can call it a fifth generation technology which operates on radio wave and use frequency bandwidth. It operates in 60 GHz signal but at present it is operating at 24 to 39 GHz frequency. It has a higher frequency and a shorter wavelength which means the distance between the device and the tower must be shorter. 5G signals have weaker penetration power than 4G signal which means the things like building trees can affect the way 5G signals work. Uh, 5G network uses a system called cell sites that divide the territory into sectors and send encoded data through radio waves. Well, what is a cell site? A uh, small cell site refers to an area within which the short range wireless signals can be received. Well, there are two general kinds of electromagnetic radiation. Uh, it is called ionizing radiation and non ionizing radiation. Uh, and a 5G network uses ionizing radiation, which means that the radiation used by 5G network is powerful enough to knock out electrons out of the orbit around an atom. In simple words, 5G network is believed to be more efficient than 4G with speed up to 100 gigabytes per second which will outstrip the bandwidth network. So that brings us to another question, who invaded 5G or who are the kingpin to launch it? Uh, well, South Korea is officially said to be the world's first country to roll out 5G network and according to data analytics from IPlytics on November 1, 2019, China has launched its 5G national network and its commercial operation. Together with the uh, patents owned by JTE, the state-owned China Academy of Telecommunication Technology. So that brings us to another question, is 5G dangerous and how do you protect yourself from it? Well, with every new revolution of technology, there comes merits and demands. As for 5G, it is believed to be a dangerous escalation of cellular technology. One packed with higher energy radiation, which uh, delivers potential damaging effect on human beings. Some of the 5G analysts uh, contend that the new 5G network generates radio frequency radiation that can damage DNA, which will lead to cancer. It can cause oxidative damage, which would lead to premature aging, disrupt cell, metabolism. It can cause radiation sickness. It increases exposure to RF, EMF fields, in addition to 2G, 3G, and 4G, which means that general weaknesses, headaches, nausea are common due to electromagnetic fields. Well, uh, EMF home adapter is recommended as, uh, as it will correct the signals going to devices like your tablet's phone, though it will not fully protect against fields originating out of your home such as neighboring routers and cell towers. Well, that brings us to another question. Do we need 5G? What are its advantages? Is 5G worth? Although 5G will allow us to download videos or stream movies more quickly, this will not be its main advantages. In the case of autonomous cars, for example, industry enthusiasts believe that 5G will allow vehicles to detect hazards better, communicate with other cars, interact with smart signage and follow maps more accurately. 5G based solution will not have to operate as islands but as components of much larger and substantially connected traffic system. The main trump of 5G will be perhaps to promote and convert into everyday reality other technologies around already existing and very promising. But they have not taken off completely. This would include virtual reality, VR and AR augmented reality, both very depend on bandwidth. In addition to immersive games, this technology will be useful in sports. Uh, according to experts, a football player, for example, uh, could use a camera mounted on his head to convey his point of view. In real time, uh, to users wearing a VR helmet in terms of AR, which uh, superimposes digital data only onto real-world images. On a day-to-day -day basis, the most immediate effect of 5G will be notice at home, with the capacity to support up to 1 million devices connected in an area of 2 square kilometers. 
This technology will allow all the appliances of a smart homes to work automatically without having to program them. The network can detect problems such as gas leaks and send emergency calls. So uh, 5G will connect everything and everyone. Uh, the technologies within 5G were and continue uh, to be designed to vastly expand network capacity. So cars, uh, utility grants, appliances, medical devices, industrial, machineries, homes, cities, farms, and more can all be connected. And 5G will reduce delays and improve reliability, uh, thereby enabling uh, mission critical tasks such as remote surgery, self-driving cars, and enhanced public safety to make possible secure connections so lightning fast. But my greatest concern relies on this, that will the privacy of an individual be at risk with such high speed of data transfer and access to your devices? Companies will have an individual data at their hand. Uh, 5G technology will make everything easy to access such as uh, digital payments, health facilities, agriculture sectors, and so on. Uh, man will be able to function like machine and everything around will uh, be mechanized through fast technology. Uh, well, the main battle uh, in this world right now uh, is money, uh, solid cash, which is changing fast in digital payments mode. So does it mean that the solid uh, cash will no longer be needed as it also put risks of carrying viruses from other individuals. So the safest way will be digital payment which will give an access to uh, individuals bank details. What about the health? How is going to be monitored of an individual? How will it be possible to track individual health without any kind of mechanism fit into their system? So 5G will also uh, have application in the fields of health. According to MIT researchers, a drastic expansion of the IoT, that is Internet of Things, is expected in wearable devices capable of measuring the heart rate or sugar levels of a patient and transmitting the data in real time to healthcare profession. Uh, according to MIT Technology Review, uh, 5G represents a technological and paradigm similar to the jump from the typewriter to the computer. Uh, the expectation is that this technology will have a data processing speed up to 40 times faster than 4G, providing a level of connectivity never been uh, seen before. Will human remain as humans or is it this a step to era of transformation of humans to AI? This is some of the questions still not answered. Post me your comments below.